In this video, you'll learn how to activate the auto filter row and use it to filter data against columns that use different in-place editors. To activate the auto filter row, right click any column header and select the show auto filter row item in the context menu. When an end user starts typing within a row, a filter condition is automatically created using the like comparison operator. After typing in D in the name cell, the grid displays records where names start with D. I can then enter additional characters to continue filtering the view. To clear the currently applied filter condition, remove the text from the filter rows cell. In a similar manner, you can filter data against date time columns. For instance, type 1 and a forward slash to filter records that have been created in January. You can also use the auto filter row to filter data against multiple columns. Enter the help string within the name column without clearing the previous filter to try it in action. Then clear the filter to see all the data again. In columns with a lookup edit, image combo box, or check edit in place editors, the auto filter row doesn't allow custom text entry. Auto filter row cells use the same editors and the equals operator is used to create filter conditions. Next, select the Carl Lucas item in the drop-down list to create and apply an appropriate filter. To clear filtering against the owner column, you can press the control delete key combination or select all in the column header drop-down. To filter data against the priority column with an image combo box editor assigned, select the desired item in the corresponding drop-down list. To clear the current filter, select the empty item in the drop-down. Check boxes in the auto filter row can be in three states. If you switch the editor's check state to the checked or unchecked, the corresponding filter is applied. To remove the current filter, switch the checkbox to the indeterminate state. To prevent the auto filter row from being invoked via the column header context menu, expand the view's options menu property and disable the show auto filter item option. Now run the application and click any column header to see that the context menu doesn't contain the show auto filter row item anymore. Expand the view's options view property and enable the show auto filter row option. Run the application again to see the auto filter displayed at the top of the view. It is enabled at application startup now and cannot be hidden by end users via the context menu. The grid also allows you to manually specify the comparison operator for filter conditions. Close the application and change the comparison operator for the name column. Expand the column's options filter property and set the auto filter condition setting to contains. If you filter the grid now, it will display records whose values contain the entered string at any position. Note that for columns that use the lookup edit, image combo box, or check edit editor, the comparison operators cannot be changed. As you've noticed, by default the filter is updated immediately every time you type in an individual character. With large datasets, you may want to enable delayed filtering so that the condition is applied only once after you enter the entire filter string. To do this, open the properties grid displaying the name column properties and disable the immediate update auto filter option. Now when you enter text in the auto filter row within the name column, the filter is not automatically applied. You need to press the enter key or move focus to another cell to force the update. Now let's disable the filter rows functionality for the name column by setting the allow auto filter property to false. As a result, the auto filter rows cell for the name column is now disabled, but you can still use this row to filter data against other columns.